Today we're going to make a forgotten drink, the Zion Check Zipper. For this drink, you're going to need a rocks glass, a measuring cup, a fancy straw, a bar spoon, a muddler, a Hawthorne strainer, a mixing glass, and optionally, a Lewis bag and an ice melon. This drink uses rye, honey syrup, and mint. This drink is basically a mint julep with honey and rye. Okay, it's not the same thing, but it uses the mint julep like a Mr. Potato Head. Swap out the bourbon for rye, the simple syrup for honey syrup, and you've got yourself a diabetic julep, better known as the Zion Check Zipper. For the honey syrup, I'm using a local avocado honey. No, it doesn't mean that avocado is added to the honey. It just has to do with the nectar source. Clover and orange blossom are the most common varietals, but there are hundreds of others out there like sage and avocado. They all have different colors and different flavor profiles. Use the honey you like best. But I like using this one because the molasses-y flavor works so well with the spicy base spirit of the rye. If you're as much of a fan of the dollop as I am, you'll recognize this cocktail from the Marion Zion Jack episode. If you're not a fan of the dollop yet, it's a bi-weekly American history podcast where each week, comedian Dave Anthony reads a story to his friend and fellow comedian, Gareth Reynolds, who has no idea what the topic's going to be about. In the podcast, they go into great detail on Marion Zion Check, a real-life Depression-era Raoul Duke, who also happened to be a U.S. congressman. So definitely check that out for the whole wild story. But for the context of this drink, Zion Check invented it in 1936, after having just returned from his fear and loathing honeymoon in Puerto Rico. He struggled to choose whether the base spirit should be rye or scotch, but eventually settled on rye. He instantly fell insanely in love with it, and in a Three Sheets of the Wind press conference, boldly declared that he was, quote, starting a campaign to convert Congress to the Zion Check Zipper. Whatever that meant. As per usual on the dollop, their first instinct was to make fun of the drink, which is understandable since this wasn't Zion Check's first cocktail invention. His first one was rum and hair tonic. Not tonic water, hair tonic. But as it turns out, even a raging, self-destructive, cretinous lush can create a good drink. I'm guessing this version is a lot more refined than the one that Zion Check proposed in Congress, but it's still pretty easy to make. We're gonna start off by beating up some ice. Add ice cubes to a Lewis bag and roll it up. If you don't have a Lewis bag, you can use a bar towel. Just fold it up so the ice can't escape. With the Lewis bag rolled, start whaling on it like a Japanese fishing vessel. Then fill your rocks glass with crushed ice and set it aside. Next, we're gonna measure half an ounce of honey syrup. Add that to the mixing glass. Drop in half a dozen mint leaves. Use a muddler with a flat edge and muddle the mint gently. You don't have to pulverize it for the leaves to give up the oils. In fact, if you hit them too hard and break them apart, the mint will start to turn bitter. Next, measure an ounce and a half of rye. Add that to the mixing glass. Add a little crushed ice and give it a short stir to chill it down. You want to strain this one into your rocks glass so you don't get the mint leaves stuck in your straw. Add some more crushed ice and build it up like a boozy little snow cone. Next, work in your straw. Grab a mint sprig, give it a sturdy clap to release some oils, and place it in your drink for garnish. Place it right next to your straw. You wanna have the mint right in your nose as you sip the cocktail. And there you have it, a drink designed to convert Congress, the Zion Check Zipper. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.